so I've been meaning to do like a meet my dogs video because they're the greatest thing ever. <laughs> but this video got a little sad, so I will let you know when we're about to start the sad stuff so you can bail if you need to. So um, we've had my dogs since they were puppies. We got them from the same breeder, but they had different parents, but they were born a day apart. Most of the pictures I have of them as babies are terrible. I don't know why. <laughs> I think they're five, six. We have a short-haired palm who is white and cream color, blonde. Her name is Taffy. She is my Patronus, my soulmate, the love of my life. If I discovered the Fountain of Youth and there was only, like, a tiny bit left for one life, I would give it to her without even stopping to think about it. She's very independent and playful and way too smart for her own good. She is mischievous, disobedient, she doesn't listen, but she loves me to death and loves cuddling. Um, our other one is a party colored palm. She is black and white and um, she has little black spots on her little white paws. Her name is Bubbles and she has anxiety. Chris is her human. She loves him more than she loves every single thing on this planet. I don't exist to her unless I'm going to be giving her food or doing something for her. The only person she cares about is Chris. There are some Pomeranians who, when they pick their human, they will be mean to everyone else. She's not mean, she just is indifferent. <laughs> She'll say hi to you when you come to the door and then she nopes off and has wants nothing to do with you until you have food. Then she is all up in your business. Then disaster struck. We took them to get groomed at PetSmart, which is where we always take them to get groomed. And we've never had a problem, ever. Um, we took our dogs to the groomer, and there was a miscommunication. When we dropped them off, we had beautiful, fluffy, long-haired dogs. And when we picked them up, they looked like this. Um, you can see their fur was shaved down so closely that you can see the pink of Bubbles' skin, especially in the dark patches. They also trimmed Taffy's whiskers, which on the left is them before, and on the right is what they did to her. They shaved Bubbles' tail down to just a little noodle. Let me explain to you why that's a problem. That is extremely unhealthy for Pomeranians, and I'm honestly alarmed that she let him place that order. Shaving a Pomeranian down this low is dangerous to their health and that they will never be the same. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a dog groomer and I don't know all of the specifics, but the way that a Pomeranian's hair is, is they have like a long fluffy layer and then they have a really short dense layer close to their skin that keeps them warm. And um, you can cut off like the fluffy layer, which is what we used to do with bubbles. Um, you can cut that all you want, basically. But if you cut down into their dense fur, that is the fur they need to keep their body temperature at the right level, they are not like like a pit bull has naturally short hair and they regulate their body temperature differently. A Pomeranian is meant to have this thick, dense layer of fur that keeps their body temperature in. It keeps them healthy and warm. If you cut that, they don't have a way to stay warm. You know, that's you're taking away their body's natural defense, their body's natural ability to keep themselves warm. And also, um, I don't know the science behind it, but if you cut into that dense layer of fur, it does not grow back the right way. I'm not sure why, um, but when it grows back, it'll be patchy, thin, it'll be um, a different texture, it won't be like soft and silky, it'll be really gross and like ugly, and it's it doesn't grow back uniformly or as thick as it ever was, so the fact that this happened to our dogs, they're never going to be as fluffy as they were in those earlier photos and video clips I showed you, which is incredibly heartbreaking, not just because they were adorable and beautiful dogs, um, but because they're going to be struggling with staying warm their entire life. And we live in the Midwest where we have seasons and it gets to be in, you know, it can get down to the negatives during the winter. And they don't, they're indoor dogs, they don't go outside except to pee. But, I mean, it's still cold. <laughs> 
So sometimes groomers do shave dogs for their health. The dog's fur was so matted and the dog was neglected. Like, like this guy. But here's a video of me playing with Taffy, like, two days before her appointment. And you can see <laughs> she's, she needs a trim, but she's perfectly fine and healthy and happy. They have a new thing where they have like these little squares of fake fur and you pick the square you want your dog to have so it's to like pick the length of the blade. We They only are supposed to take off like just a tiny bit all over. Um, it's really just a health thing. And there was some sort of miscommunication with the chart because it goes from like shortest amount of fur to longest amount and uh, Chris was trying to communicate he wanted the second in on the longest side um, because we wanted them to take off a little bit and the person taking the order wrote it down as second from the shortest side so a step up above buzzing all of their hair down to their skin it was snowing outside when I got them and I carried them in my arms because I didn't want them running all over the ground covered in snow, naked. They shivered the whole way home, and I had the heat on full blast. So I carried them in my arms to the car, and I put them in the car, and I cranked up the heat, and I drove home. I was sweating, but I drove home the whole way, and they were freezing. And um, Bubbles, who, as I said before, she doesn't really care about me, she crawled into my lap and was, like, huddling into my arms for warmth. And, um... <sighs> My parents bought them adorable little pink coats for Christmas, um, just to be cute and silly, and I'm so glad that they did because we came home and we immediately put them in those coats, and it helped, um, but they were still cold. Um, they looked adorable in them though, I mean, they're adorable, they look cute and everything, but uh, because their whole like butt is exposed, it's just a top. Like imagine if you were like hanging out in the winter and you just had a coat on and you didn't have any bottoms on, you'd be cold. We moved a whole bunch of blankets um, down, like a bunch of throw blankets. We turned them into dog blankets and piled them all up on the floor for them. They were super lethargic. Like they, they're normally hyper as fuck. <laughs> they run around and they're playful and they're silly and they are obnoxious and they weren't they were huddled into their blankets not moving um bubbles who doesn't care about me at all was wanting to be snuggled right up next to me i looked over and saw her all cuddled up like this just like trying to get all of her limbs under her and i just i put a blankie on her and she was like excuse me human you don't know how to blankie <laughs> but she eventually got herself all snuggled up in it and I didn't have the heart to move her because she was so cute and finally warm so I just <laughs> awkwardly slept next to her <laughs> they normally are fairly independent dogs they're not really lap dogs they want to run around the house and chew on their bones and play and they were all over us they wouldn't leave our side it was cute and it was sweet, but it was really sad. Sometimes they'll be in a cuddly mood and they'll cuddle us, but that wasn't what was happening. This was because we were warm and they didn't have any way to regulate their body temperature. Like, they were... Hi! How you doing? Are you sniffing? Sniffing my breath? Do I need to, do I need to brush my teeth? Goodbye. You see their back legs don't stay on. <laughs> We're working on that. <laughs> We bought them adorable PJs so their little tiny butts would be warm. They're the cutest things in the whole world. It definitely made them warmer and made them more active and happier, um, but the PJs are super tight so we're worried about them wearing it all the time. And also Taffy keeps wiggling out of hers and her back legs are just out, like you're defeating the whole purpose here. So we got them t-shirts um, that say security on them. 
it's been two months now and they're just barely starting to grow back their fur. They're kind of scruffy <laughs> and look like they have permanent bedhead. <laughs> um, but we're waiting to see what will happen and see if their fur will grow back. But they're definitely a lot more energetic now that it's getting warmer and we're keeping them in warm clothes. Look how fuzzy her noodle is getting. Bubbles. Yeah, wiggle your little noodle. Wiggle your little noodle for me. He's getting so scruffy. And for sitting through that long and kind of sad video, here's Bubbles attempting to jump on the couch. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Bubbles. 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 Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Bubbles, you can do it. Come on. You did this yesterday. 